and you have people like Crank That Frank, dude, don't even get me started, man. It's just gonna turn into, like, a hate fest. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. You know? Like, I don't care. Well, ultimately, like, I could shit on other YouTubers. Ultimately, I think the... The best route here, and the 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 route that I want to take for any of this thing, uh, any of this that just ultimately doesn't matter, is it's like I just don't care. I don't care. I don't care what he's doing. I don't care what any what anyone of the, like. If they want to be a fan of something, that's cool. I don't care. I could shit all over them, but like, why? What? Like, why? I don't care. See, generally when someone says, I don't care, means they care a lot. But it's more just like, is it worth the effort? And the answer is no. It's just not. I mean, God, I so badly just want to go off the rails right now. I just fucking rant. I just don't, I don't know. I don't have the, I don't have the energy or, like, mental willpower anymore to do that shit. It's just like, I'm kind of just, like, tired of being a YouTuber. But I don't know where else to, like, hmm. It's very purpose, man. Jesus. Went on, like, a mini existential rant for, like, three or four tweets last night at, like, well, I guess, I guess this morning at 6 a.m., where it's just, like, the only way to succeed as a social media star is to be relatable. And the, like, and that's, and that's almost inherently selfish of the audience, which I'm not condemning the audience for that. I'm, like, that's, it's human nature. It's like, if it doesn't, if you see something and you can't relate to it, you're not going to give a shit about it. And that's totally fu Like, that's human nature. But it's like, so the only way to resonate with people is to relate to them, not by being really good at something or by saying something important, but if by relating. And most social media is low-hanging fruit. And is like, connect, like, connecting the dots by being relatable instead of, I don't know, being more than that. And I think I, I've kind of hit this roadblock in, like, my social media career to where I'm, like, I'm not relatable anymore. I'm just, I mean, I guess, like, the anger and, and depression and, like, mental illness is relatable. But, like, I don't know, it stems so much further than that. And it's just, like, it's not, I'm not even saying that, like, I'm a unique emo snowflake. <laughs> like, you know, being, like, being, thinking, thinking you're so fucking unique. It's, like, that's. That's so selfish in itself, because you're not. Like, I don't, I think at my core, I'm not. I just think a lot of the traits that I have right now in my life are not super relatable to the, like, online world. And I'm, it's suffering as a result because it's not connecting with anyone. That, that's what brought me to bring up, like, I'm not going to show all over him. I'm not going to do it. But that's what brought me to bring him up in the video today, is that, like, his whole entire foundation is being relatable by acting like a fan. And he's been doing this since before the cringe stuff. He's been doing this for years. It's just jumping from one boat to the next, trying to emulate what a fan would want. And by talking and by freaking out about things that he particularly may or may not care about, probably does to an extent, but he, he over he he acts like a fan, so all the other fans are like, oh my god, he's a fan of this. He's a super fan of this. I, I want to be a super fan of this. There you go. There's nothing more to it. It's just being a professional fan. That was the uh that was the comment. <laughs> he used to be friends with Frank. Yeah, dude, until he fucking the drama happened and he lit me up in a stream. It was just like, nope, unfollowed because everyone else hated me at the time. Um so, of course, you know, our friendship wasn't fucking real. I remember when we went out to dinner once, and I could just tell, he just didn't want to be there, man. It was sad. He was, like, on his phone the whole time, and it was just, like, I wanted to take him out. We went to a diner in Washington, D.C. No cameras. No, no collaborating. I just wanted to hang out as buds. This is the last time we hung out. Probably the last time we'll ever hang out. And I've always said this, that as YouTubers or entertainers, if you can hang out with somebody, um, if you can hang out with somebody off camera without the incentive of, of a collaboration, then you're truly friends, or that you're, you truly have something there. And he seemed very, very uninterested, because we weren't filming, we weren't doing a video, we were just hanging out, and he just not having it, um, which said volumes.
But then the dra- all the drama went down, and of course, the second like the second it went down, he like made a very public thing on his live stream, just being like, "No, like, fuck that guy, I'm out." I'm like, I mean, I can't say I didn't see it coming. It's just fake. It's fucking fake, man. But that's the internet. Can I blame him? Not really. Whenever you two did collaborations, he looked bored. Well, he just. I just tell, he was doing it because I, you know, I have twice as many subs, and it's like, it, but it's not like I even get, like, a fuck ton of views. I have a really spotty view count. Sometimes my videos don't fail, and sometimes like an half a million to a million. Like, it's, I don't have, like, a consistent, you know, flow. Uh, but it was more along the lines of, uh, there's only a handful of emo scene alternative whatever YouTubers left. You know, there's probably, like, ten of I. How many, how many YouTubers um, with more than, like, 400,000 subscribers uh, in the alternative category? Like, I can name, like, five, five to ten, maybe, that, like, are, you know, not either not new or, um, like, like no, people have been in the scene for, like, a little bit and have, and have been successful in some capacity. There's not many. So, you know, it's, it's like me, like, Eugenia, Johnny, Frank. All these people. It's like whenever we get a chance to collab, we do. Even if even if the even if the video isn't that that great, I mean, you still do it just because it's like the fandoms are kind of similar. There's a lot of crossover there. But I, I mean, I remember a period when he went through through his fuckboy phase and kind of like disowned the whole emo thing, and then he came back because that didn't work out. But you try new things. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date on your favorite streamers. Blarg you later.